God bless you, everyone. It's good to see you once again. Amen. Today, I'm going to share with you something I, I love to talk so much about marriage. I love to talk so much about marriage. And today's topic, I want to talk about knowing your partner. Hallelujah. So it's very important to know your partner, to know who you are getting married to. When you know whom you are getting married to, it makes this easier because you already know. So what you already know is easy to deal with than what you don't know anything about. Amen. So, you know, the Bible says money answered all things. But the love of money is the root of all evil. So today I see so many people talking about not generally it's better to have a man that have this that is rich and they will receive the beating than a poor man and also the men also have their way of looking for a woman that is financially okay all these things are very important because when there is no money in marriage actually the, the, the peace will be disturbed. That is certain. Except for the mature-minded people that know how to handle that kind of situation. Praise the Lord. But it's very important when you know your partner, you know whom you are getting married to. And this money, this wealth is not available. So it will make the marriage more sweeter. But when you don't know the man you are getting married to or you don't know the woman you are getting married to and there is sweat in both sides you know a time we come those you know this piece of a thing is something that money cannot buy when you now begin to see that you are not compatible in so many things money is not going to solve that hallelujah i'm not saying don't get married to a rich man or a rich woman but I'm just trying to kind of bring out some point because we are all entitled to our own opinion. You know, praise the Lord. So let me start from the, 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 the men's side because so it doesn't look like I'm a feminist. Amen. You want to get married to a woman. Have you, uh, have you checked? Let's put the money outside because it's, it's a necessity. Have you checked if this is the woman that you will, you, 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 when, when you are with her, you know that you are comfortable. A woman that will make you happy. A woman that will encourage you. A woman that will stand with you. No, no. No, no, no matter the situation, she's ready to be with you. A woman that is that, that, that can work with you and both of you, it will look like you are working as a team. Praise the Lord. The Bible says two is better than one. That is what the Bible says. So when in a marriage, this one is thinking this way, the other one is thinking the other side. Two cannot work together except they agree. A woman that can cook. I know some women are going to crucify me. It's very important. Hallelujah. A woman that is neat. A woman that is capable of taking care of the home when you are not around. It's very important. You know that you left someone at home that is competent. It's important. Praise the Lord. A woman that is not a waster. A woman that is not materialistic. Because no matter how rich you are, you get married to somebody that is materialistic. God help you. Hallelujah. So as for the women, I don't want to talk too much. I know why I don't want to talk too much. Because so many people are not going to like me. But it's good to say the truth. Some may not like it, but it will also help some others. Hallelujah. As for the women, I don't know how you will cope. Get married to a man is rich, but you are not respected. He doesn't regard you. 
so bad. This year will be my 19th year in marriage. I have three grown-up sons. My first son will be 18 this month of January. Hallelujah. If you are with a man, and that man is a man that you are not well, you are in a situation that you are not okay, and he doesn't know how to encourage you. You know, this word sorry means a lot to us women, not just money. How are you going to cope? Some men think they have money, that money can answer everything. But we need this as women. Care. And the Bible says men should love their wife. Husbands should res the, the, the wife should respect their husband. That love your wife is what we are talking about here. It's a part of love. Oh, what is happening to you? Sorry. It's to be where. It's where in Jesus' name. I'm going to be okay. Those this means a lot to us as a woman as a woman. So as a woman, you need to consider these things. A man that cares, a man that can take care of you. I did not say that a man that he will not be your bank account. At least take care of you. He show that he cares. A man that will not leave you no matter what situation. A man that doesn't disrespect you publicly because of what he's giving you. You have to consider a lot of things. Ask yourself. Don't just look at the material ta uh, material part of it, the, the, the financial part of it. Ask yourself, can you really live with this man for the rest of your life? Because when you run in with speed, when you run in with speed because of what the man have or because of what that woman have, you will also run out with speed. It's not a prayer, but it's just the reality. Because... That wet, those material things might be there, but when there is no love, there is no understanding, there is no transparency, there is no compatibility, no one is listening to each other. You need somebody that can listen, especially the women. They don't say control, not a man that you can control. Somebody that can listen to you, that can listen to your feelings because it's your partner you share your, 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 your thoughts with, your ideas with, your feelings with. So if all these things are not there, God help such people. So this is what I want to talk about today. I don't want to say too much. Hallelujah. And I pray God help us in Jesus' name. And I pray this word help someone out there. We need to, we, we need to be conscious, to be careful when we are making major decisions about our life, especially when it comes to marriage. Hallelujah. So God bless you. I will see you some other time. Maybe we'll talk about more topic like this. Hallelujah. Stay strong. And by the grace of God, I remain Pastor Mrs. Precious Sylvester Sayende Onyeze. That is my name and my husband's name. It doesn't change. Or you can call me by that stage name you know perceive. We still go with my husband's name, Precious and Sylvester. God bless you. Shalom. Amen.